Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge pile of Too Faced holiday stuff to show you. I really bought too much. I kind of stacked some like previous year's Too Faced holiday stuff all over here. I don't know. I thought it'd be cute for you guys to see it in the background. But as I was like looking through it, I was just remembering like using them, what my thoughts were. And to be honest, Too Faced holiday stuff doesn't always have the best quality. There are some things that I've really, really loved and there are others where I'm like, oh, where's the pigment or where's the blendability or something like that. But I'm always hopeful and I am such a sucker for cute packaging. So without further ado, let's just jump in. We're going to play with some things today and I'm going to give you my initial thoughts. I actually have had these for a couple of weeks, but I have not dove in to play with them. So I'm excited to do so. And if I don't go in depth in any particular item that you really want to see a look with, just drop it in the comments below and I'll be glad to because there's one palette where I'm like, ooh, I want to do a look on its own. There's actually a couple. So a lot of eye stuff and I'll only be able to do one look today. So let's dive right in. I do have last year's Melted Matte Lipstick in Gingerbread Man. This was a color that I really, really liked. It's like a warm orangey brown and I really, really like it. It's a beautiful color and this was like all the rage. I know we sold out of it at my store and it smells so good. It does dry down to where you can't quite smell it, but it's so nice when you're putting it on and it smells just like Gingerbread Man cookies. So the first thing we're going to open up is the Christmas Dreams Essential Cruelty Free Brush Set. So this is what the packaging looks like really pretty pink girly there's little animals on it this year which I think is super cute and then let's open her up I've always kind of wanted the teddy bear hair brush set but I never wanted to pay that much and this is actually quite similar to that but it was a lower price point I'll try to find it and put it on the screen so the first thing you get is the little pink bag it says I dream in makeup so these actually feel like pretty nice quality you've got like this flat powder brush which I think is really pretty You've got this small brush, which you could use probably more for highlighting. You could probably do like a little precision blush with it, but really pretty. And the handles have little stars on them. It's like you get like a little liner, a blender, and then a more detailed brush. I'm excited to see how these actually perform. So we will see. I'll be using at least a few of these. I have another melted matte liquid lipstick, and this is the Gingerbread Girl. So this is a different color from last year. And I think this one's a little bit more on the brown side. Let's swatch them side by side. I thought there was a bigger difference in them. So this is Gingerbread Man looking a little bit oranger. And this is Gingerbread Girl. Side by side, they look like they have maybe a little bit more difference to them. But it's not a drastic change from one to the next. So, okay. Still both smell really, really good. I thought there was a little bit more of a difference between them. But I really love that formula. I do think that with their melted matte lipsticks, they just knock it out of the park. I love it. We also have a set of melted matte lipsticks. These are minis. And this is the, the Sweet Smell of Christmas liquid lipstick set. So cute. I feel like this is a wonderful, cute gift or stocking stuffer. Or if you had a bunch of girls, you could break it apart. But you've got pumpkin spice, sugar cookie, cinnamon bear, and hot buttered rum. I definitely want to open this up. I've been tempted to pull these out. And each of the caps has like a little design on it that is coordinating with their scent. That smells like straight pumpkin spice. So that one's a little bit lighter and a little bit more orange than the gingerbread. Sugar cookie is my kind of nude. That's so pretty. That smells good too. Cinnamon Bear has the cutest little lid, the little bears on it. And that one's more of a true red. And then finally, hot buttered rum looks more like a warm brown. And that would be a pretty nude for some skin tones as well. So really wearable colors, I think. Um, they all kind of live in that like more warm family. I'm really excited about sugar cookie though. And while we're on that topic, they also have the little Too Faced sugar cookie palette. This is one of the minis and I know with their like white chocolate chip, I did not see the quality there at all. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit different. It is absolutely adorable and it is like the more metal palette like the previous ones that they've had. I actually like this. I think it's pretty. They're like soft tones to it. Let's swatch a couple. So there's a few colors on the fingers there. Those two colors being matte swatch pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I want to swatch this really dark shimmer as well. Ooh, okay. That one swatched pretty well. Why do I always do them too far to one side? 
Okay, so I'm excited to give that a try. I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna put on my eyes, but I'm gonna set it aside. The next thing people were like literally freaking out about, this is the peach tinsel set. So it's a loose sparkling party powder and lipstick set and it's so freaking cute. This is like that gift for the girl who has too much makeup, she's got it all, but she may not have peach tinsel. So I don't know where it is if I do have it, but I'm pretty sure I have this one, which is Sunday Fun Day, a really pretty nude. I'm not gonna swatch it because if I already have one, then I'm going to put this in my giveaway. So if you guys haven't subscribed, definitely do that. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by my birthday, which is December 16th. And if I do, I'm gonna do a big giveaway on YouTube and also Instagram giveaway. So be sure to subscribe here and turn on notifications and follow me on Instagram. I'll put it up on the screen, but I'm pretty sure I have this. I've just gotta find it, we'll see. And then you get the cutest puff ever. How can you like, oh my God, so pretty. This is the size of like a setting powder. Get on my face. Try not to make like a giant mess. So I just grab some on my finger. I don't know if that's doing anything. Ooh, it's so pretty in person. It's like peachy gold. So there's like a gold shift to it. I feel like this would work for a lot of skin tones too because it's got enough of that gold shimmer. I'm gonna try some on once I do a little bit more on the face. You could definitely use this to like puff it all over for a holiday look yes okay they always do their huge holiday sets this one is called christmas dreams dream queen limited edition makeup collection and it is a big box it's so pretty too it's got like little swans it's got a squirrel and a little mouse i hope you guys can see the detail in that but right off the bat you get a mini hangover three in one spray so i love to use this as setting spray or prep you get a little mini Better Than Sex Mascara. There will probably be multiples of these going in giveaways because I have so many. The Too Faced Pink Swan Lip Gloss. Ooh. And they don't have many glosses right now, so I think this is like a newer formula, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a subtle pink gloss. It kind of looks a little bit like the Peach Tinsel, but a little bit more pink. So it's swatched right there. And once more you get a bag. This one's so cute. It's more like a canvas material and it's got swans all over it. And you could definitely fit the size of the palette into the bag so you could travel with it. And then you have the palette. This is more of a large like book style palette. Let's open it up. It's got a very similar like color story to what you typically see from Too Faced, but I do see some more intense colors in this one. So what you'd seen in the past was just like neutrals, nudes, browns, all that, and then like a couple pop of colors, but you've got this bright ass purple. You've got Cozy Up, which is this red. There are some fairly intense colors in here too. So I'm excited. I think I wanna put this on my eyes, but I'm gonna open up the rest first. But let's go ahead and swatch just a few. So I wanna swatch this, this one's called Selfies, like s Elfies. And then I think I wanna watch swatch Holly Days. Let's swatch this more matte. Ooh, that feels like a color from the um, original Huda Rose Gold. That's what it feels like. And then let's do a light one. Twinkle. So I've got four shades on my fingers there. Looking good on the finger swatch. I mean, these are all kind of shimmery. The matte feels a little, it's got like a very fine grit to it. Um, but I felt that in the original rose gold and I still love that palette. So I don't know that that's going to deter me from liking that. Let's put this to the side for a moment. I think I'm gonna use her, but we're gonna see. The next set is so, so freaking adorable. So this is the Under the Christmas Tree, and you actually get three triangular palettes that make up this Christmas tree, and you get a little mini Better Than Sex Mascara. So again, like I knew I was gonna get several of those, and they will definitely be going into giveaways. So the first little palette on top of the Christmas tree, it looks like they're different sizes as well. So the first one, really cute little triangle. Again, you could give this as a gift or break it up. Oh, and let me show you too. The little squirrel. It looks like two highlighters and possibly a bronzer. It's the colors there. Definitely one good for like a medium to deep skin tone on the middle finger there. 
Okay, a little soft on the swatch, but they could apply very differently on the cheek. The bronzer looks a little bit more on the warm side. I just swatched it right there. There's so much stuff, guys, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is taking forever. There's just so much to show. This one has some eyeshadows in it. Really cutie. I love the little presentation. I do think that's really adorable. Some more colors. Not bad. The um, mattes came off a little soft, but they are pretty light colors. So we will still see with that. And then you get the actual little bottom of the Christmas tree. And then you get more colors in here, which this one looks really pretty. Dying for that right there. Ooh, I have to swatch that. That looks so pretty. I love a green. That one looks gorgeous. Swatch that one next to it right there. Ooh, not bad. These shimmers have such pretty dimension in them. So pretty. Okay, I'm also tempted to use this one because it's so gorgeous. Just so much to choose from. So there is another set kind of like that one. This is the Beauty Daydreamer collection. So it's kind of a similar. So let's open this up. This one comes in a bag with bunnies on it. So cute. I love the mint as well. And everything's actually in the bag. This is a really cute gift. So wrapped in tissue, you get a mini better than sex mascara in the giveaway. And then you also get the Too Faced Bunny Kisses lip gloss. This is so adorable. A little lid of bunnies on it. I'm gonna put a little on. We'll wipe it off. Okay, so this one has a little opacity to it. Like, I see a lot of color. It's like a pinkish nude. Whereas the other one that was in the set was more just like a shimmery gloss. So I got two. And I love this. So side by side. So adorable. Little swans and little bunnies. And then you get the Beauty Daydreamer palette, which is really pretty. I like that it's just like a big font and one little print there of the bunny. This one is called Resting Grinch Face. It looks like a little duochrome-ish. Baby, it's cold outside. It's like this icy blue. Ooh. I want to swatch Resting Grinch Face. That one's another really pretty one. I love that that's like looking almost like wet on the swatch. Ooh. So it's like one of those that almost has like a brown look and then like the duochrome wants to flash like this greenish. Those are always so interesting to me. I think I'm definitely going to dive into at least some of this over here, but I might use this palette too. I've got one more thing to show you. I know, God, I've been talking for how long but I ordered this from HSN I think this is the only place you can get it it's the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice collection I think I showed this in a vlog and this is a set adorable so you actually get another brush that matches this set so it basically looks like it duplicates this like more blending brush um, they look like they're about the same, but it's always good to have a backup. So I'll probably be using those for my eyes. You actually get a full size of Better Than Sex Mascara in this kit. This one's a really good deal. So this gloss is Pumpkin Spice Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. It smells so good. I'm gonna swatch it right here. That's what the Pumpkin Spice looks like. This leans a little bit more towards the opaque, but it also has some shimmer to it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of looking at my blank face. It is time to put some stuff on. This is the other palette I was really tempted to use. Oh, I actually have another palette to show you guys. Um, but the Pumpkin Spice is so gorgeous. Whew, these colors, they get me. I hope you guys can see that well enough to do it justice. That gold, golden pumpkin is so pretty. Pretty as a pumpkin, this orange is screaming to me and cinnamon stick is gorgeous. Lots of great colors. Let's swatch just a few and let's get like a lighter shade as well. I feel like this one might be like the standout. So pretty. Those are bad swatches, honestly but gives you some idea. All right, my camera got tired of me talking and overheated, so I finished my hair. Now we look more put together. I do have one more product to show you, and then we were putting some of this stiff on my face. So I did get the Gingerbread Spice Palette. I actually got this twice, so the first time it actually came broken. Oh, I think this is the broken one. Where's the good one? Pause, please. Well, I'm a failure. I don't know where my actual non-broken palette is, so I'll just show you the broken one. So one shade came kind of destroyed. 
um, from the mailing. But I love the assortment in here. You get warms, you get pops of really bright pink and purple. I think it's going to be good. And I have swatched this one a lot um, before my other one came. And it seems like it's going to be pretty good. I'm hopeful, but I've not applied it to my eyes. So there's a few shades right there. Watch them. So it definitely looks like it's got a little bit more pigment. I'm hoping that they really just took the time to formulate this well. I feel like they come out with so many holiday sets that there's just not enough time to get the formula perfected and it's more about making them cute and fun but i would love to see some really great quality also i washed my hands entirely and none of this came off so we're gonna need a makeup remover i'm gonna go into the beauty daydreamer and use some of these face products so i've got everything powdered and done i basically have brows and foundation powder concealer all that on i have on Too faced except for the brows so i've got on born this way foundation born this way concealer I used um, Born This Way powder and I used Hangover Primer and Hangover Setting Spray. So I wanted to really get everything matted down and it looks gorgeous. Okay, so I think I'm going to try this, although I'm a little scared. There's the color there. I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to dip this bigger brush in here. She's a little dusty. While we're at it, try out this one as well. This one's a little softer. So the one from the Beauty Daydreamer, which is this mint bunny palette, is called Christmas Vacation, and it looks a little bit um, of a shimmery type of bronzer. It's very soft. It just looks luminous, so it's not bad, and it's not glittery, but it looks like it just has this luminosity to it. So these colors are just really warm, and it's great for a bronzer. It's just going to be tough to kind of like contour with. So I'm doing a bit of like a brawn touring, but I'm probably going to go in with a cooler contour shade as well. It will definitely warm up the face, however. But with this same brush, I'm going to take my Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder. I'm going to just douse this brush on both sides, and we're going to soften all the warmth and glow on my forehead. And then I'm just dragging it down and diffusing everything. And then I've got my Lunatic Cosmetics palette, which is my favorite for winter time. And I'm going to take this smaller brush from the set, which is kind of like fluffy, but also flat. And I'm going to mix in my two favorite contours, which are the light gray and the light brown. And I'm just going to chisel the cheekbones a little bit with this. Maybe we get more of a shadow effect and not so bronzy. So overall, I'm really, I'm not mad at this at all. Um, I just went in a little bit ham with that bronzer, not expecting it to be so warm and so luminous. So now we need some blush. I just quickly cleaned off that same brush and I am going to use this shade, which is Resting Wish Face. And lightly into that, since that bronzer was pretty pigmented. She's pretty cute. I'm going in really soft. I like that. I actually really like this blush. It's giving like a kiss of pink, but not overdoing it. It looks really fresh faced. Okay, I'm excited now. I want to swatch this furry flush right here because I'm wondering, looks like it's more blush than highlight, yeah. So it's like a really shimmery blush. So I think I'm gonna top um, my blush with this just a little and give it a little something extra. We're really gonna be glowing today. This is called Snow Shizzle. And that's, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, we need some of that. So I'm gonna switch brushes to a MAC 133 and pick up this highlight. It's really light. Ooh. Okay, so you can build this up to be pretty blinding. It's very soft at first, but I love a highlight that you can kind of tailor to what you like, whether than going in and it's immediately blinding or like not being able to build it at all. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna quickly contour my nose now that I've got some highlight on. I think we do need to try out this peach tinsel though. I would be simply remiss if I didn't. So I'm gonna top the other one. I know y'all need to be like, stop. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm amazed how that gives more of a wet look when it's so shimmery. Ooh, this bitch is gonna be wearing this a lot. This is really pretty. Okay. That's one of my favorites so far. Cause that gave such a beautiful highlighted wet look. It did not accentuate texture in my skin. It looks so gorgeous. I'm kind of shocked. Okay, let's do some eyes really quick. I wish you guys could like vote in real time and tell me which one you want me to use cause there's so many. Okay, but I've used this palette a lot. So I think I'm going to step out of this. We'll go for the Big Daddy, the Dream Queen. Let's go into Snowball Effect. I wanna see how that looks about just like coating the lid. Cancel out some color and set down. I already put on shadow insurance by the way. Make sure that is good, okay. So I'm looking and I'm looking for a transition shade. So I can either go with Unwrapped, which is gonna be more warm, or I could go with something cooler, or I can just look at another palette. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take from the Christmas tree one, this shade right here. So this one's like a really nudish color. And we're gonna pop that into transition. Okay, well shit, just blend right out, okay. Dang. I'm kind of shocked. I know that that's a soft color, but the pigment is there and it's blending. What the heck? I'm gonna take a bigger, fluffier brush and just really blend that to filth. I don't know what the rest are gonna do, but that shade is not playing around with the blendability. It's a great transition for fair skin and it could really work as a blending shade for a more medium skin. And it's not so light that deep skin tones couldn't use it. So I'm kind of I'm kind of living for it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. It looks like more like a bone type shade and blend right under my brow and just make sure that it looks nice and seamless. It's a little trick for the lazy in us. So I think we're blended really well. I wanna pick. I think I'm gonna go with Secret Santa, which is like a deep muted red pink. I don't know how to put that. Um, Cause it's not quite pink, but it's not red either. It's blending really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take that under my lower lash line kind of heavy. And make it look super smoked out, but still soft. I found that I was being a little bit timid about lower line like eyeshadow underneath placement and I was like keeping it really cropped in close and then I found if I do this and just kind of do it big in the beginning with a soft color then I will use a little bit more and go a little bit further and it makes a big difference for me. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm like I'm not timid with color but the placement was it was just not my strong suit. Like I wouldn't blend it out. I wouldn't pull it. I wouldn't drag it down far enough. So this works for me. You guys do what works for you. I think I'm gonna dip into Let's Roll, which is this red. Like I told you guys, this one feels a little gritty almost, but I found that in the rose gold palette, the original, I really liked it. Like it didn't bother me. Like it still blended nicely in my opinion. I think I'm gonna try Keep Your Hands to Your Elf. We're gonna try it alone by pressing it in and then see if we need some glitter glue. It's got a pretty nice amount of shimmer showing up. I wanna know if it's gonna stick though, that's my question. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Elfies <laughs> and also pat that in there. I kinda wanna take this Holy Grail, this little duochrome and place that here. Use our little sugar cookie. 
All right, I finished my eyes off with some Better Than Sex Mascara. But I do really want to try out the Sugar Cookie Melted Matte Lipstick. Oh, that is so pretty. That is a great nude for me. I think almost anyone could wear it, but I really like it. And I want to top it with a little bit of the Pink Swan Lip Gloss. This is just so pretty. Alright, so that is everything using a ton of Too Faced holiday stuff. Like I said, if you guys want to see specific things, just let me know. I'll be glad to. I can do it in a YouTube video or I can even put it over on Instagram. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to be picking up any of these products? Are you just a hard pass for this holiday season or what? I'm so curious to see what you guys are thinking. As I said before, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications. Let's get to 10k by my birthday. Maybe? Okay. Anyway. Um, and also, leave me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. And thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!